so what did we make in March? Hello friends and welcome to another video, episode 72 of the Witchy Knits podcast where we sit down every now and then and talk about what I have been working on lately with my knitting and my crochet and spinning or whatever else I have been into working on over the past month. Also, I changed my intro screen. I hope you like it. I made the logo quite some time ago and it's been like the little symbol in the corner and it's been the cover image of the podcast playlist for quite some time so I thought maybe I should match match the vibe by using it as the title screen on the podcast as well so let me know what you think so how are we all doing today I hope you are all doing well me I am dealing with some sort of cold again so apologies if I sound a bit stuffy nosed and nasally and like I have a cold because I have a cold. Uh, yeah, apologies for sounding like I do today but I wanted to sit down and talk to you just the same so here we are. I hope it's not too bad. I've also had a bit of a week and I will talk about that at the end of the video where in the chatty bit uh, so as always if you are only here for like part of the video like the finished objects or the chatty life of the two bits at the end uh, feel free to use the timestamps to skip around as you like so yeah 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 but on that note I want to get straight into what I have been working on lately so um, as usual I want to start with my whips so let's start with the whips let's go so what did we make in March or rather work on without finishing because it's the whip part of the video. First up we have my sock test. This is the Floral Night Sock by Disyarning or Harper Bee and this is a finished sock. Yes, and I showed this last time. Yes, but we have also doo -doo -doo, the start of a second sock or rather the start of a new pair of socks. This starts at another place in the yarn. It's a self-striping rainbow yarn so that's what I mean with another place. This one started with the light blue and this one starts with purple before the light blue and that would bug me tremendously if it wasn't for the fact that I have started a second pair of socks because the designer changed the heel and I am not about to have one sock with one heel that fits a certain way and a second sock with another heel that fits another way and I mean I could have ripped back and like two before the sock no before the heel and <laughs> before the sock wow <laughs> I could have ripped back two before the heel and just knit from there but I wanted to just start over start fresh and start at the purple so here we are knitting a second pair and I maybe should be further into this than I am. I feel really bad but it is a quick knit. I am really fast with colour work so I know I can smash this out really fast so it's okay but um, yeah. <laughs> I super enjoy these. It's really quick and fun and addictive. It is colour work as you can tell uh, with I will show you the, the finished one. Stabbies and flowers and there is there is a sword on the gusset as well which is super nice. So yeah I am still really excited about these. I just kind of I guess lost a little bit of steam. Nothing to do with the design or pattern it's just me and I also had a bunch of big projects I've been working on on this side of this so I, I guess that that's why. So the yarn is unknown opal probably black yarn. This came out of an old product that I ripped out. I don't have the yarn tags anymore and this rainbow yarn is hobby silly sock in the colour happy clown. So that is my stabby sock my floral night sock by Disyarning and I love it. 
My second whip that I have going at the moment is the Stephen West Geo Gradient Mystery Knit Along Shawl. And I will show you. I am finally, finally, finally past clue three. Yes! <laughs> what? Who am I? Um, if you are new and unfamiliar with this, this was a mystery knit along that started in October of last year and lasted for one month and I cast on at the start of it. Obviously I did not finish this in one month, worked on a bunch of other things instead. I am always dropping stitches, I don't want to be doing that because we have a lot of stitches on here. It's pretty much just been hanging out in its project bag in my whip pile and I've done a couple of rows here and there, like on loading screens in Genshin or something, and yeah, it's, it's just been languishing. I definitely lost steam on this one. It was quite, I will be honest, it was quite repetitive this time. I've had more fun with previous mystery cows because they had a lot more different stuff going on. This is partly my own fault and I need to show you this. So part of the problem is I made a mod to the center because th there was a whole thing with the design and it was changed at the start of the knit along and uh, there were a few different versions of the center you could make and I chose the one with eyelets which it's really really pretty especially I really like it in these colors the problem was that clue 2 had not yet been released and I had also not when it was released I I, I knit my knitter like mystery knit along in a way that I avoid spoilers like the plague I don't want to see them I want to experience like in the first month or so, it's, it's really easy to avoid because people are putting like spoiler warnings and stuff. But I always have stuff going on at the same time as MCAL, so I always am slow. And so I have to like keep avoiding looking at spoilers for a really long time. And yeah, I did not see Clue 2. I did not know what it was, but Clue 2 was more eyelets. So. It fits together really nicely, but I got so sick of like yarning over and knitted it together, yarning over and knitted it together, or over and over and over again. And I got really sick of it. And then the uh, Clue 3 is beautiful. I love Clue 3. It's this woven like fabric that you make with um, slipping stitches with the floats on the front. And yeah, it looks really, really nice. But it was the same on both sides and it got really repetitive and it took a long time and I, I got sort of tired of it <laughs> and yeah I was stuck there for quite some time but now I have fin finally finally finished it and gotten on to clue four and it's this wonderful squishy fabric but it is a lot of stitches it's 500 plus stitches to knit and purl on the way back and and on some rows you increase to double the amount of stitches and then you have to knit no purl two together through the back loop on the way back and it's a lot but it's worth it i love it um yeah it's it's squishy i am happy i'm past clue three it is worth it it's taking a long time but I love the look of it and yeah, I, I can't wait. I can't wait to have a finished short. It's going to be great. But yeah, that's that's my whips. So let's get into the FOs. Okay, I am going to talk some more about snails. You thought you could escape. Nah. <laughs> the obsession has not yet ended. I haven't made any new snails in a bit, but I did make quite a few in March. And uh, because of that, we are going to be talking about snails for a couple of minutes. And if you haven't seen it, but you want to, there is a video of me making most of these cuties that I'm showing today. So yeah, uh, can I also like on that note, interrupt myself for like half a minute and just say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who came from that video and subscribed and stuck around to watch more of my stuff. 
You are awesome. I am still blown away by how many views and how many likes and, and subs that video got. You guys seem to really like snails. I do too, so like, let's have a let's have another little snail party. But yes, snails. Uh I I did show these these I did show these two last time on my last podcast episode. So we have a Clement Timothy and a Lamonti and yeah I showed these last time but I made them in March so I'm gonna show them again. I made these two, these are from the original fruit snail council bundle and then I made some snails from the Easter bundle uh, and these are, these were a test. I, I tested the pattern for Garden Hoe Crochet. This is, by the way, a pattern by Garden Hoe Crochet on Instagram and Garden Hoe Market on, it's the same person, but Garden Hoe Market on Etsy. Uh, all links to everybody I've been talking about, patterns and everything, will be, as always, in the description of the video. Uh, so if you want to go and check them out, that's where you can find them. But yeah, I made this Eastery Easter egg, Egbert, with some pony beads in the egg shell. Um, I love him. He's cute. It looks like he's in, like standing in the wind. And then I made this trans pride flag Egbert for a friend. I still need to send him this snail. Sorry friend, he'll be on his way to you soon. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we have a second Egbert and we have a carrot Tony. He's a carrot. I love him. I also have a carrot Tiny. Here's a clip of him. He's really small, so it's better to show him like this. And then we have Strawbet, which is also a snail from the original snail bundle with the fruit snails. And yeah. I have a couple more micro crochet snails that I need to finish the shells for, like shells, it's eggplants. <laughs> I need to micro crochet two eggplants, but I, I've, I've been kind of swamped with other stuff lately. And also Garden Hoe Crochet just released the Veggie Council and I am super excited about that. I still need to get the pattern and I need to get some veggie yarns, um, the place where I bought the yarn for these. They didn't have any uh, green and they don't have any brown or anything so I can't make, I want to make potatoni, potato, pot potatoni, potato, potatoni. I want to make potatoni and I want to make turny, the turnip, and I want to make broccolari. He's so cute. Um, so yeah, I need to get some veggie friendly yarns. So let me know if I should make a second video making a bunch of snails in a set amount of time with the veggie cane. So let me know if you want to see that because I, I will gladly make it. I also I also made a second straw bird um, for my mum because she really liked the snails. Uh, here's a picture of him. I only have this picture. <laughs> But yeah, that's it for snails. Those are all the snails I made this month. We also have a big finished project this month. We have a sweater. This is the Mum's Handknit Sweater quilted version from Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's also up in the corner if you want to watch because I made a video making this. I made this for a video to celebrate Animal Crossing New Horizons fourth birthday which was the 20th of March and also because this is a silly project that I've been wanting to make for a really long time and I have finally made it. Mum's hand-knit sweater quilted version is a weird name for it but it's the official in-game name. Uh, this is the in-game item. It makes about zero sense. It is obviously knit texture on the sleeves but uh, it's it's granny squares and there is zero quilting on here. Uh, and what makes it even weirder is that there is actually a quilt version with quilt on it. That's not called quilted version. Uh, but I made this and I, I have thoughts. Here's me wearing it. It was a challenge to make this. I redid the body several times and 
Now, after finishing it, I have also thought, I wish I would have done some things differently. Uh, the squares, squares sit a bit too low on the body, uh, to name one thing. I wish I would have placed them a bit higher up. And also, this whole thing is crochet, except for the ribbing, which I knit. I had originally crocheted the ribbing on the sleeves and on the top and, and everywhere. <laughs> but I ripped that out and knit it instead because I wanted to. I chose the yarn for this because I had some already and I needed just needed to buy some more for it. But in retrospect, I should have chosen a different yarn, a thicker yarn and made the squares a lot bigger because yeah, that they were a bit dinky. I think with bigger squares it would have looked better and more like the in-game item and yeah I kind of want to rematch on this I said that in this in that video as well that I've I've already sort of talked myself into making a second one I am happy with it but I'm not quite happy with it if you know what I mean nevertheless it was a really fun but challenging project and now I want to show you something that I am quite excited about and it is for an upcoming video so consider this a sneak peek and a little bit of a spoiler but um, I made some Sailor Moon brooches or charms or whatever I want to use them for uh, I made the transformation bro brooch brooch transformation one and I made the crystal compact. Uh, I've also written down the pattern for these and I might want to look for some testers for that pretty soon, maybe. I need to make a second or a third one to figure out some issues on the back because it's, it's a bit weird. Uh, I have one thing to straighten out with the back. So yeah, maybe maybe there will be a little bit of a testing call soon for this. And I also need to figure out my video timeline and stuff. So yeah, excited. I made that. Sailor Moon stuff. Yay. I love Sailor Moon a lot. So I think I might still embroider some like shinies, uh, highlights on the gems maybe. But yeah, I've made that. Moon prism pair makeup. Phew. But yeah, that's those. So spinning. We have some spinning to talk about today as well. I am pretty sure I showed you this last time, but again, I made it in March. So, you know, quickly show you. Uh, this was Gotland wool from Four Before that I spun on my wheel. It's got some silk and it's got some Stellino, Angelina fiber. So it's a little bit sparkly here and there. You can kind of see it. So yeah, I made that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I showed you, so I'm going to show you the one I didn't show you. We have this one that I dyed the fibre for. This was pencil roving. I got two big bunches of pencil roving from my mother-in-law a couple of years ago, or quite a few years ago, and I've been like dyeing and spinning small pieces of it, like 50 to 100 grams of it at a time over the years. And uh, this is the latest one that I dyed and spun. It is a lot more orange than I thought it would be. I thought it would have more purple, but it's a lot more orange, but it's still giving crocus flare. It's still saying spring to me, so I'm still really happy with it. No idea what this will be, but I like it in the hang, so it can also just stay on the shelf looking pretty if, if it comes to that. But yeah, it's soft, it's nice, it's, fairly balanced. I am happy with this spin. I also made this on the wheel. I've been actually really enjoying spinning on the wheel lately. I've said this so many times, but we're not really friends, my Will and I, but it's it's been a good time. I don't have anything going on it right now. I kind of want to start some, oops, kind of want to start something soon. But yeah, that's that one. It's dyed with greener shades, which is a metal free acid dye. So that's fun. <laughs> Those are all the projects I have been working on in March. So let me tell you about the week that I have been having. Uh, or honestly, mostly it was like last Sunday, um, which by the way, was my birthday. So 
happy birthday to me yay <laughs> but yeah i usually i usually never know what i want to do for my birthday i usually never have a plan i rarely know what to reply and ask for when people ask me if i want anything for my birthday i i just usually not super excited for my birthday last year i spent the whole day at the stables we went for like a really long hack and uh, it was super cozy it was one of my best birthdays ever <laughs> spending it with the horses but uh this year we actually had plans we had it planned out sort of in detail and had plans to get to eat dinner in the evening a table booked and everything uh, which is by the way something we never do it's a bit too expensive for us to go out and eat like that so it was going to be a treat and i was so excited this year so excited for my birthday i've been like really really hyped up for it for like weeks like it's gonna be so much fun we have so much fun planned but we woke up that day and they was feeling a little bit off so i was like well should we stay home then but no no We'll go and we had part of it was a trip to the sci-fi bookstore that we had planned it's a shop similar to like forbidden planet in the uk they have like comics they have manga they have fantasy and sci-fi books they have art supplies board games uh tt rpgs uh warhammer merch all kinds of fun stuff like the nerd shop love that place but it's it's usually a lot of people and bear in mind this was last sunday which was also easter day and we were thinking people are probably spending today and this weekend with family and it's also a popular week for people to like i don't know go ski i i don't ski i don't know if people go skiing around easter but i know people go away from stockholm they go to like the the other summer home even though it's literally not summer but like summer homes or, or like ski resorts or whatever people go places around easter okay so so we were both thinking if we go when they open it'll be pretty chill the entire population of sweden plus some more decided to collectively visit the sci-fi bookshop 15 minutes after opening just as we got there <laughs> not only that but they had rearranged the entire bookshop all of it was like moved around and so not only did i have instant people overload i also couldn't find what i was looking for i had my eyes set on getting a book i had my eyes set on getting volume 7 the latest book from the sign of affection manga that i am reading and i almost didn't get it because at first i was i knew where it was but they had moved that series that that manga to another section so i had to find where it was and then it was one book left and <laughs> it's mine <laughs> so i got it but it was closed ah, i would have been so upset if i didn't get that book because the backstory to that is i pre-ordered it but it never got sent out and i cancelled it like two weeks ago because oh, i'm sick of this and i'll just go pick it up in person because it's the same price and everything and i would have been upset if i, if I didn't get it <laughs> because i checked online and it said it was in stock <laughs> so anyway that's that's sort of a side thingy but yeah we got it and he got some terminators for his warhammer army and they also have like cute stuff like sanrio and stuff like that and i wanted to look at that but i just couldn't so we left and i was very overwhelmed and a bit grumpy because of said overwhelm so we had a long walk we were going to go to a hobby shop to look at some more velvet yarn for me and some yarn i have planned on getting for the sailor moon video but they were completely out of the the yarn i had in mind and they also did not have any velvet yarn that i wanted so that was uh, a flop i didn't get anything there we also stumbled into a flea market and i spotted across the flea market that's a barbie house barbie piece of furniture on the table i need to go have a look at that table and i found a pony this pony uh, so that that upped my mood a little bit so that was nice and then we were gonna go get some free coffee on the way home because David was getting really tired it was not feeling great so we were 
on our way home but we were gonna walk to the station and just grab coffee on the way because I had a voucher for a free birthday coffee and I really wanted some iced coffee I love iced coffee and uh, the first shop we went into didn't have any ice and I had already I had already have to I have had already had to grammar don't judge me I have a cold I can't think um, but I'd had to change what we had planned already and I would dealt with so much overload and nothing had gone right except for finding a pony I was like no no I, I'm not changing my order we'll we'll go to the the next shop in the chain and see if they have ice because I, I I really want an iced coffee. So we did and they did have ice. So I did get my iced coffee and then we decided, well, let's get some cake because it's birthday. So we wanted to get some carrot cake, carrot cake cupcakes. And uh, we did get carrot cake cupcakes, but when we started eating them, we <laughs> realized it was orange cupcakes with citrus frosting which was really tasty and uh, not gonna lie it's probably the better choice for me because I I don't like carrot cake I I wanted carrot cake that day but normally I don't like carrot cake like I like the flavor I like the frosting but I can't with the carrot in the cake texture wise it's just no there's carrot in my cake i can't have it <laughs> i really wanted some carrot cake and i got citrus cake i mean how many things can go wrong especially like i never plan for my birthday i'm never hyped up like this i'm never like oh it's gonna be so exciting and the one time i am nothing nothing goes right i don't even get my friggin carrot cake that i don't even like so yeah we went home and had to cancel the dinner plans we went to bed and i spent the rest of the day gaming because what else was i going to do the rest of the week has mostly been a week uh because i've been on and off feeling like this and like sniffly and stuff and also of course I keep getting the migraines uh, the meds are working but I lose my one existing brain cell when I take them so I get frustratingly stupid and unproductive and I can't really do stuff that's about what I have to talk about today not much else is new so I will let you go and enjoy the rest of your day thank you all so so much for watching and for being here if you watched to the end I want to know do you like carrot cake or are you like like me the carrots no I love the flavor of the spices but really hard time with the actual carrots in the cake are you like me or do you like it let me know if you are new here and you would like to keep seeing what I get up to in my future videos please consider subscribing I post all kinds of craftsy stuff and like I mentioned I have a Sailor Moon themed video coming soon trademark as well as new crafting challenge and uh yeah if that sounds like something for you we would love to have you join in the fun in the family of this channel so yeah please feel free to and welcome to subscribe if you want to stick around please also leave a little like if you like the video it helps me out a ton and with that, I wish you a fantastic rest of your day, a wonderful, marvellous, fabulous rest of your week. And I will see you again very soon. Stay safe, make stuff you love, and have a great time. Bye!